gonna go get some Cracker Jacks. Ugh, she's so cheap, she could be the prize in the Cracker Jacks. <laughs> wow. You're jealous. I am not jealous. I just want to pop that inflatable bitch and watch her fly around the room. <laughs> Look, here's the thing, Jackie. Kelso likes bossy, vain, shallow princess types. And since you're no longer available, he shipped one in from out west. But he's not supposed to replace me. He's supposed to sit around and pine for me. Well, you can't have your cake and eat it, too. Oh, my God, it is always about food with you. It's like you're not even listening. OK, new rule for slumber parties. Annette wears a robe. <laughs> So, um, so, see, so do you guys hear about that woman who might be the first female member of the Supreme Court? No. But I did hear the Dallas Cowboys might hire their first redheaded cheerleader. Ew. That's exactly what I said. Uh oh. Redhead in the room. What are you guys talking about? Nothing. <laughs> Donna, great news. I'm not jealous of Annette. I mean, I thought I was, and I was afraid that Annette had sought feelings for Michael. But I got to know her, and now I really like her. <sighs> that is such a relief. Because, you know, what with Bert dying, I was worried about you. <laughs> yeah, me too. That was sarcasm. Well, whatever it was, it was very thoughtful. <laughs> oh, it is such a relief knowing I don't have feelings for Michael. Get off my boyfriend! Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why she's so upset. I was barely touching you. 